Hey, this is David Heinmeier Hansen. I am here today to show you Action Text, a brand new framework we're building for Rails 6. This is an early alpha preview. I basically just made the repository we've been working on public. So this isn't something you necessarily are gonna use in your main app tomorrow, but uh, if you're interested, then you certainly can start using it. And I'd actually, encourage people to do so because that's the way we're going to build it up and make this framework something that is totally solid by the time we release Rails 6 to everyone. This is pretty much the same process we followed with active storage that went into Rails 5.2. We did the extraction from Basecamp into a private repository. Then when that was just in a very rough state, we moved it over to a public repository which we then iterated on for a couple of months. And once we felt that that was in a good condition and in good shape, we turned it into a pull request for the Rails Rails repo, which then ended up making it out into the final release. So that's the process for action text, but you're probably asking, what is action text? Well, that is a good question. Uh, action text is a rich text framework for Rails, which makes it easy to display edit and create rich text in Rails applications. It uses the tricks rich editor that we've been working on for many years now at Basecamp. We use it to drive virtually every text area in the Basecamp 3 application. Tricks just hit version 1.0. Javon and Sam have been doing an absolutely phenomenal job on that. And it's really a pleasure to be able to bundle that wonderful editor up into an incredibly easy to use framework for Rails applications. Something where everything will just work straight out of the box, including file previews, file uh, image galleries, all the delicious features we have in, in Trix um, are simply there for very easy use in Rails. Now I'm going to show you how to use action text as a standalone, framework in a Rails master, that is the Git version of Rails application I'm creating here from scratch. Once we release Rails 6, the intention is to include action text in the box. So there'll be even less setup work than the very minimal setup work I'm going to show you today. But let's get started. So I'm gonna start the demonstration today by creating a sample app a blog. This sample app is going to be generated from the Git version of Rails, that is of course the latest and greatest, and that version changes every day. So if you are trying to recreate what I'm doing here, uh, things might have changed in the future. As I'm generating the app, I'm also going to generate it as an edge app. That's the dash dash edge you see on the command line. That simply just tells Rails that we want to use the Git version of Rails itself. And I also want to be used the Git version of Webpacker, the JavaScript bundler that we're going to use to include tricks, a JavaScript library into our application. Um, so here we go. So this is simply just a standard Rails skeleton. Um, if you haven't worked with it yet, you'll see that there's a new step here that is the Webpacker install, which just sets up Webpacker and uh, does a yarn um, setup for all the dependencies that we need. Most importantly, we're of course going to need the tricks framework and we're gonna to get to that in just a second. So we have our new blog here. I'm gonna have a look at that in the editor. And let's start this up a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add our um, action text framework and include that in here. Um, so that is a gem called action text. It currently resides on uh, GitHub as Rails as action text. And because we have this sort of naming convention that the action text and the action anything, the active anything is um, in a single word, we have to kind of do a little dance here on the require. When this is included in Rails 6, of course, we won't have to do that. We're also going to include our image processing gem that allows active storage, our backend for all the uploads for Trix editor to uh, do transformations on it for the previews. Now we have those things, let's, uh, let's bundle and include them in. After we bundle this stuff in, we're going to run an installer command. Um, again, this is stuff that won't be necessary once 
action text that's included in Rails 6, but for now it is. Um, so we have the action text install, which will basically just um, give us a few assets. It will install um, a couple of migrations, and it'll also make sure that we have set up active storage, which needs its own set of migrations. So as you can see, it did all that. It added tricks to the bundle that we're using, tricks from um, the 1.0 release that we talked about earlier, and then action text is currently not on NPM. It is just a Git repository we're including. Um, in any case, uh, let's just migrate our database so that we get those two um, migration run. And you'll see that that created just a, a couple of tables. We can actually have a quick look at them here and see um, what they look like for action text. See an action text is basically um, a record that allows us to say um, where it belongs to, what the body of that text is uh, going to be, and, and the record that it's associated with. But we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. Let's create just the basics of that blog we're going to use, which will be a scaffold. Uh, we're going to use a generator for a scaffold. I'm going to call that post. It's going to have just a title. Now, look, it's not going to have a content because that content is what we're going to add with the action text. So let's run this uh, and let's again run the migration because we, of course, added a post um, table here for backing this model that we have. And then let's uh, let's run our server and just start that up and have a have a look. As you can see, yay, we're on Rails version 6.0.0 alpha. And if we go to slash posts, we have the standard scaffolding um, UI that you would see for anything. Now, one interesting part here, you saw Webpacker said it was compiling. So it compiled everything that we had in the, um, in the pack into a single asset that can be downloaded. And of course, included in that pack now is tricks. Um, that was added as part of the, the Yarn install. Now, as you look at this, it just has the title. What we're interested in is having posts that have rich content. So let's start by amending our post model to say has rich text content. So this is the new um, class method that you get when you have action text installed, and that will make an association to a new rich text record under the name of content, which means that you could have multiple rich texts, of course, per model. They would be differentiated. And uh, that is then saved in relation to this post. So we're keeping all the rich text content away from the main tables that you're using for your models. That has some neat benefits um, that you keep your models smaller. Usually, if you have a text um, field for a uh, as a column as part of that table, that table is going to be pretty large. Um, we found that it's actually better to split those heavy elements out and keep the model tables smaller. They're going to be faster. The indexes, everything just gets easier. You could even take this and move it to a um, to a separate database and, and keep your main database smaller. Now. That's kind of off on a rail here. Um, let's continue to add what we need for this rich text content to be included in the post. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to amend, amend the post controller to accept that um, there's going to be a content attribute as well. Then let's add it to the form we're going to use for this post. Um, and this is a rich text area. You see, it's basically the same as the text area. You just say rich text area instead, and you're going to get all the magic. And we're also going to show that on the display of the individual post here. So we have posts, and we simply output the content. Now, that's pretty much it. Let's go back to our application and see what happens if we post something new here. You see the editor appears right away. It's already styled. We ship with styling in the box. You can, of course, override those styles if you want your editor to look 
differently. But um, this is our first test. This field is uh, auto expanding, which is kind of neat. Uh, and of course, it has all the formatting that you get from the tricks text editor. This is going to be italics, shameless self promotion. Yes. And then let's see what we could drop in here as a as an image it goes right here. Oh, look at that. That is my new book that just got released yesterday. I wrote with Jason. This is the moment of shameless self promotion. You can see it, this image, of course, is, is relatively large. It'll just fill the uh, width of the field and scale the height appropriately. We have caption editing in uh, in tricks. This is so that's pretty neat. And then we also have um, uh, image galleries, which is which is kind of cool. What you'll see behind me here is that there's a bunch of stuff going on. And what's going on is that the tricks editor, when we dropped this file in, created a blob using active storage and created a preview that it can display inside the editor as well. Um, all this stuff is just happening in the background. It's all pre-configured. So whatever your active storage is configured to use, whether you're storing that on AWS or GCS or Azure or wherever it is you have it, this is just going to work. We're building on top of the frameworks that we have already. Action text builds on top of active record to be able to provide the integration to your existing models very easily just with the has rich text. Uh, class method, and then it builds on top of active storage to give you just all this um, drag and drop image galleries, all the good stuff that um, you can see here in the editor just by default. Let me show you these um, image galleries, um, which was something we just added to um, Tricks Editor fairly recently, and it's pretty neat. It will basically just align the images side by side. It wraps really nicely. It'll do three wide. Uh, if you drop in five, it'll do three and two. It's a pretty uh, neat addition. And um, all the HTML that's being generated by Tricks for this, when we then save it, we have an entire uh, framework behind it that does all the processing. And you see that processing then filtered out here um, as the final rendered piece of HTML with the caption as we had it, with the image gallery. It is what you see is what you get editing. So you're going to get what you edited. And we keep the styles in sync between the tricks editor and the display of it. Again, you can change any of them as you please. Um, and all this stuff is just going on in the background where we're using active storage to deal with the uploads, deal with the file previews. Um, it's building on top of that. And um, we're just going one step further up the chain here with action text and building on already relatively high level frameworks as active storage is um, that already included active records. And I think that this is just an exciting new chapter for Rails that we're getting uh, an ambition level to go ever higher up the stack and get ever closer to sort of the end things we want to do with the framework without dictating what things need to look like. You can style everything in this tricks editor. You can get your own toolbar. You can change how the toolbar works. You can uh, cut down on the number of formatting options or whatever you want to offer in your application, but the plumbing is there. And that's a, that's a pretty exciting step to be in. Um, Action text itself, as I said, there's not that much to it. Uh, the bulk of the work in this is the uh, is the tricks editor, which, uh, as I said, Sam and Javan has been working on for years. Um, it's all written in in JavaScript, and uh, hopefully we're going to get uh, this out to a much larger audience now that it's so easy to use it in Rails with file backing and all the things that you get from uh, from Tricks. So this has just been a short little preview of how Action Text is going to work in Rails 6. 
It is mainly an appetizer and an invitation to anyone who's interested in rich tech editing in Rails to get involved, start playing with the framework, start figuring out all the areas we hadn't considered and help us make it great for when Rails 6 is going to be released sometime in 2019. So thanks a lot for watching this and I hope to see you participating on 